Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and welcome to episode 8 of my Space 1999 Eagle 1 Transporter build. Here, I'm looking at the supports for the rocket motor assembly and I'm going to be attempting to attach them now. As you can see here, I've made a boo-boo. I've cut the rod about a mil too short. So I'm going to have to recut the rods in a bit. But before I do that, I'm going to stick the back plate to the rocket motors. This will help me when I attach the support rods. But I'm only going to do it with PVA. So if I need to take it off, I can take it off quite so easily. There we have that glued. So I'll put that to one side and let it set. I thought about 10 or 15 minutes should do the job, but no, it's PVA. So I decided to leave it overnight. We'll come back to that later. Now for a quick show and tell. Here's Bob and Bob 2. I'm happy with how these have turned out, really happy. Now it's time to get some paint on them. I'm using red and blue for the buttons and clear green and black green for the console screen. So, it's time to use that speedy uppy thing. Now it's time to break out the Tamiya X32 Titanium Silver. This is a great colour as it can cover an absolute multitude of sins, as well as act as different types of silvers. I'll be using this on Neil, Dave, Rita and Sue. Before we do that, let me just give you a quick show and tell of one of the modules. These have been primed in black, given a zenithal highlight in white, then finished off with a thin coat of white all over. All done from rattle cans. I'm quite impressed with the result I've got. So, let's crack on. So there's the painting of Neil, Dave, Rita and Sue complete. All they need is a quick wash and they should be good to go. Now it's time to crack on with the VIP pod. Get the rest of the sanding finished on that bad boy. Are you ready for the speedy uppy thing? Well, here goes, even if you're not. Here I'm using different grits of my homemade sanding sticks. You can find out how to make them in my tutorial sections of my YouTube channel. Thank you. 
Well, that's the VIP pod sanding done. That was about 45 minutes work, rattled down to about a minute. Thank God for the speedy uppy thing. Right, back to the engines. Time to recut those rods I missed cut earlier and get them attached. So, here goes. First, I check my measurements, test fitted a piece, and then recut strips to fit. It looks like I've broke the PVA bond here, but not to worry, it holds together firmly enough so I can carry on doing this a lot easier than it was before. So there we have it. That's all the support super glued to the rocket structure. Mmm, I wonder how many times I'm going to have to re-glue those little tinkers back on. Ooh, look, a show and tell as well. Ooh, get me getting all professional and everything. Now to move on to other parts of the rocket motors. We've done the straight supports and the angled supports. Now it's time to look at how we can do these curly whirly supports, which you can also see here on this page. I've decided to use soldering wire, lead wire, whatever you call it in your part of the world, but from now on it's soldering wire, as the tubes that go through to the different parts of the rocket motors. So I'm just going to be measuring up and gluing them all together. Firstly, I used my trusty rotary tool with my PCB drill bit to initially drill the hole. Then I used an Archimedes drill with a normal bit just to open up the holes to fit the soldering wire. With the holes cut, it was time to cut lengths of soldering wire and glue them into place. So, let's crack on with doing those. There they are, done. A quick tug and yes, it's stuck. Uh, no, re glue this one. Uh, no, re glue this one too. Uh, no, re glue another one. And another. Oh, 50% failure. Ouch. All done, I hope, but I doubt it. Oops, I'm getting ahead of myself there. That's another episode story. Now it's time to look at the routing over the rocket chambers and how we're going to do that. I took some styrene tubing and cut it into eight three millimeter, millimeter, that's easy for me to say, eight three millimeter lengths, as you can see. I 
I was having trouble with the razor saw, so I decided to try something different. I bought a load of uh, these razor blades from AliExpress ages ago, and now they're going to come into their own. There goes another support rod, time to glue it. Once I'd cut them to length, I got my trusty reversible tweezers, put them in one by one and filed out a groove with my rounded metal file. There we have the supports done, and a show and tell, get me! Well, this seems like a good a place as any to end this episode, so that's where we are with this build. Please remember, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modellers as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember, stay safe, keep on modelling guys!